Hi guys, welcome back to Kim's class. Today's lesson is the fourth lesson in a unit about personal information. More specifically, information about personality traits and likes and dislikes. Let's look at today's lesson objectives. The first objective says, I can read a paragraph and answer questions about three different people's personality and interests. The second objective says, I can use context clues in a paragraph to learn new words. Sometimes when we read information, we might find words that we don't understand. Sometimes we can look them up in a translator, but it's even better to learn how to use context clues, which means the words around the word we don't know, to guess what the word might be. So on your screen, you're going to see a paragraph. I'd like you to read the paragraph and then answer the questions below. If there are words in the paragraph that you're unsure of, try to use context clues, which again means words that you do know that are around the word that you don't know to understand. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, read the paragraph, answer the questions, and when you're finished, turn the video back on and I'll give you the answers. Go ahead and pause your video now. So let's practice some pronunciation and some reading before we go over the answers. Read along with me. Maria is a nurse. She is friendly and outgoing. She likes meeting new people. She gets along well with the nurses and patients. She enjoys talking to them. Hue is a scientist. She enjoys thinking about hard questions. She likes reading and doesn't mind working alone. She is quiet and shy. Valdo is a musician. He likes playing music with his friends. He is creative. He loves writing new songs. His songs are different and interesting. Now let's go ahead and see if we've made the correct matching. Number one, Maria likes meeting new people. Number two, Maria enjoys talking to nurses and patients. Number three, Hue enjoys thinking about hard questions. Number four, Hue likes reading. Number five, Valdo loves writing new songs. And the last one, number six, Valdo likes playing music with his friends. So how do you do answering those questions? If there were some words in there, I bet you could use those context clues. Let's go ahead and look at today's objectives and see if we learned everything I had hoped you had learned. Can you read a paragraph and answer questions about three different people's personalities and interests? We just did that, didn't we? And like I said before, can you use context clues in a paragraph to learn new words without looking up in a translator? I hope you can. So class, that's our lesson for today. 
But before you go, I'd like you to do four things for me. Is that okay? The first thing I would like you to do is to hit the like button below this video. The next thing I want you to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way, every time I post a new video, you'll get a notification. Wouldn't you like that? The next thing I'd like you to do is to find someone to share this video. I'm sure you know people, friends, family, people you work with, that may find these lessons as interesting as you do. And the last thing I'd like you to do is write a comment in the comment section below. We've been talking about personal interests, likes, dislikes, and personality traits. Write me a sentence about you. Are you curious? Are you shy? Maybe you're outgoing and like to go out. Write a sentence about you. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for allowing me to come on this journey with you to learn English. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you soon.